able to access the rear piston pin gadgets, you need to um, pull off these rear little covers here, and they are uh, Phillips heads. So you want to use a impact driver like this, and to loosen it, you put it on, tighten it the way you need to go, and hammer on it so it loosens it up. And basically what we need to do is, let's walk around here, is we need to access these holes right here to get the gadget pins out so that we can pull the pistons out of the top of the block. So that's what we're gonna try and do now for you here. Um, first step is to get access to the rear covers. So you have to pull off, there's a shield here and a shield here. And then once you pull the shield off, you also notice there's a bolt that you have to pull off right in here as well. And once you pull that bolt off, I don't know if you could see through there or not to the other side. Nope, there's not enough light. But, um, oh, you can see a little light there. That way in the background, nope, way in the background there where you see that hand is where the other gadget pin is. So we need to get to that. How we do that is, you take a long screwdriver and you shove it all the way through there and you get it touching the gadget pin and then we hammer it out through the other side of the block. Make sure you pull the C-clips out. Alright, so I'm going to be pulling, uh, I guess, the gadget pin out of cylinder one first. So you want to align it up so that it'll actually be able to come out. And so we pull it out through the back side, or I guess hammer it out through the back side. I got my screwdriver set up. I take a mallet and I pound it out through the back side. Alright, so now that I pulled this, this little C-clip out, I can hammer this cylinder right there. Cylinder 1's, or no, I'm sorry, cylinder 3's uh, gadget pin out through the back side right here. But I hammer it out from back here, as you'll see right now. And then now I can show you how we rotate the pull all that stuff out. Take your wrench, rotate the crankshaft till so top dead center. And keep going, keep going till this cylinder's top dead center. Take this piston, actually, turn it and turn it sideways. You push it and turn it like this so that when you go back out, the piston up. So now, see how much farther the piston comes out of the bore. And it comes right out like that. And bag it with the right gadget and bag it with the C-clips. And then next step will be to separate the block in half.